I'm just going to come into your bubble, so just give you a look the other way. Fantastic. Just relax that muscle. Congratulations. Wow, that was easy. Easy peasy. Thanks so much. Very good. So we're just going to get your weights for 15 minutes. Um, okay. Your weight time. Start to feel it all around during the time you don't know and we're going to look after you. Thanks very much, Jack. Feeling great actually, it's really nice to have got to this point. I've been talking about the vaccine for months. My age group uh, came online just a couple of weeks ago and so I used booked my vaccine last Sunday, was able to get a slot today. New Zealanders are coming forward to be vaccinated and I think the stat yesterday was over 70% of people are either vaccinated or booked in already and we have still got some age groups to drop down through. So I think that shows um, both a huge level of interest and, and commitment. So. Of course we are, we are continuing to focus on communities that might be hesitant, but, uh, but so far we're seeing great uh, interest. This virus can arrive at any time, and even uh, in countries like ours that have taken this elimination approach, vaccination is a hugely important part, not just of us being able to protect ourselves now, but of us being able to reopen, uh, in, particularly as we head towards the end of the year in 2022. It's a sharp reminder to people that uh, it, once it is in the community, it's a real challenge. And so vaccination is, is hugely important and a way you can protect yourself and, of course, everybody. There's no evidence that the efficacy is waning now. Remember, we started vaccinating in February and uh, there's, there's nothing to suggest, given that hundreds of millions of these uh, doses have been given around the world, but that, 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 that there is waning immunity. But most importantly, that is in, there is any reduction in people's protection from the Delta variant. We know that the Pfizer vaccine has, has got high levels of protection against people getting really unwell uh, with, the, with the Delta variant. As we move through Alert Level 4, we should see fewer and fewer locations of interest because people should be at home. And what I do want to do is just reiterate, anyone who has got symptoms or has been a location of interest or who has had a test should not be popping anywhere, either the supermarket or the pharmacy, or even to go and have a vaccination if they're in any of those groups. This is the problem that's happened in Sydney, as we've seen people out in the community when they are infectious, and we absolutely want to avoid that. So even if someone is an essential worker, if they have any symptoms, or they've been at a location of interest, or they have been told they need a test, then they must just wait till they've had that test and then stay at home, and not go out and about. I think Kiwis know what to do here. We showed that in March and April last year that if everyone does their bit, and the way I think about it is everybody um, looking out for each other, uh, then if we do that we will all benefit from it. We will be able to come down out of alert level 4 and down through the alert levels quicker. We had almost six months of no community cases which I think is quite a remarkable feat uh, while the rest of the world was dealing with Delta. We want to get back into that position so we can get back to that, uh, the, the level of freedom we have had for that six months, that all our businesses can get back up and going and that people can you know, carry on with their lives again. So I think that um, uh, I don't think we necessarily compare ourselves with Australia, but I've got a lot of confidence and hope uh, that Kiwis will do what needs to be done.